All right, so this video is a response to all of the questions I have received about my Arduino controlled RC car regarding the hardware setup. Um, my last video covered soft, well, software and a, an example, but I didn't go over the hardware. Um, it's quite straightforward uh, because there are really only two components that you have to control, the motor through the electronic speed controller or ESC and the steering servo. The receiver, is not going to be used here because as in my other video which you should watch first otherwise this won't make any sense um, we are using a Bluetooth uh, Bluetooth dongle and USB host shield as the communication setup so um, we're not going to be using the receiver the standard receiver um, in all RC cars you're only gonna have two wires this is very simple I don't have the breadboard on board any longer because uh, it's on a different project but to illustrate, I'm just going to be using my, my Uno, and it's, it's quite straightforward when you're going to set up your breadboard. Or if you just do it this way, depending on the size of your RC car and what, what space you have to mount hardware. So, two wires. You're going to have your wire coming from your ESC and the wire coming from your servo. Um, the lightest of the two wires, for those of you who don't know, I assume if you're watching this you're probably somewhat familiar with RC. Uh, the lightest wires are always the signal wires, and the black and red are, as um, you would guess, the black is ground, and the red is high, or positive. To run this, all you really need to do is to supply signal to both the devices and power the steering servo. The ESC is already powered by the onboard battery, uh, so all you need to do is supply power to the servo. Now, do not power the servo from your Arduino's power supply. Uh, depending on the size of your servo, the Arduino is not going to be able to source enough current to drive it, and you'll most likely crash the Arduino, and bad things will happen. Instead, you're going to use the supplied power from the ESC to power the servo. Generally, the ESC supplies power to both the receiver and the servo. That's why the pins are in that line. So when you plug the ESC into the receiver, it powers the receiver up, and it also powers up the other power supply rails on the receiver, so that when you plug in your servo, um, the red wire is connected directly to the red wire on the servo, and obviously everything has the same common or ground. So th this is where your power for the steering servo is going to come from, not here. Now I'm not going to talk about how you, your, your power supply for your Arduino, because um, that's covered in many other places. You can either plug a battery or external power source in here, which is fine, as long as you make sure to ground everything. Everything has to have the same common, otherwise the circuit will not function. Or if you have a 5 volt regulator, you can power your Arduino through the VN pin. Let's see, uh, focus here. Uh, there's no light. Anyway, it's the pin left of the two grounds. Right here when this thing focuses, come on. Oh, come on. Hmm, I don't know what's up, it won't focus. All right, focus there. Anyway, the pin left of the two grounds, oh, sorry, right of the two grounds, VN, right there. The rightmost pin on this first header here. If you have a regulator, you can look this up, uh, then you can power the Arduino from the battery and the RC car, except it's going to require a breadboard and a little bit of circuit experience. I'm, I'm not going to go over that today. We're only going to talk about how you wire this up, and this setup will work as long as you just use an external power supply like I did in my video, not the integrated power supply. Okay, so to be simple here, I'm just going to grab a couple of jumpers. Now here's the interesting part. You're going to ground both of the servos the two Arduino ground pins, which are down here, come on. Obviously, you wouldn't want your Arduino sitting off of the car when it's actually running. And you're going to connect the red wire of one to the red wire of the other. Now what this does, I'm to make sure you can see this, is this synchronizes everything's ground so that the circuit reference voltage will be consistent and everything will function, but it isolates the ESC power supply 
from the Arduino power supply. That would be your little 5 volt or 3.3 volt pins over here. That is, this servo is running off the ESC's power supply, which is from the back, the battery eliminator circuit, which is the same as the regulator on here, um, except it can source more current. That means that once you're at this point, the commons are synchronized and the, the servo has power. The only thing left is the signal. I don't know if I have enough jumpers left here. We go. And that is, I'll just pick two. Let's say I use pins eight and nine on the Arduino. Those are digital pins. In your code, those will be defined as servos. Don't be confused by the fact that um, you can only define a servo. There's a servo.h library. The servo library just controls the output protocol, and it just so happens, for um, consistency's sake, that ESCs run on the same proto uh, communication protocol as servos. So you will define this thing as type servo, although it's not, but it runs in the same protocol. So don't don't be confused by that. So just say I picked pin nine, or excuse me, eight and nine. So there it is signals from the lightest wires you notice these are different colors it's always the lightest wire of the signal to whatever pins you've def you've attached your servo on in the code and you're going to ground both of the devices that means that this this the servo and the arduino are have all the same common or, or reference for the high potentials so that the circuit will function correctly and that's it that's all you have to do now um i don't know if i have a plug yes i do somewhere here. Four. Aha, here it is. So here's a 9 volt uh, battery plug. So if you are to plug your 9 volt battery in here and your battery into your car, everything should function from this point. Obviously, I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning, um, you're going to have your Bluetooth shield on top of this. If you're following what I did in my previous video. If not, this will control the car just fine, although you're going to have to have it wired to communicate or use a, a Bluetooth dongle, but in, in the, this is specifically for the case um, with the shield I used in my previous video. So with the shield on, you're, you're still go the headers are going to be stacked, so you're going to have to check what's written on the board and follow that up to the above header and plug your wires in and everything will work the same. I just, the header's currently on a different project right now, or, excuse me, the shield is on a different uh, project and I don't want to pull it off at this point. So this is how you set it up. Um, that's about it. Um, just the key here is do not power your servo from the Arduino's power supply rather use the ESC. Um, I will have a link to both of the other videos that uh, relate to the car video. So I'll have a link to the car video and my link about the Bluetooth shield and how all of that works. Uh, I hope that this helps those of you who have been asking me about this. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment, email me, or go to my website, whatever you need to do.